Hey, this is Mike with Metal Tech. Got Noah over here helping me today. We're going to be installing our 6th Gen Bronco rock sliders here on our uh, Metal Tech uh, Bronco. Here we go. We removed the uh, OEM rock guard here that uh, bolts into these holes here. And what we did to make our slider look better and protect the paint more, we just taped a line along the bottom of the rock guard here and we painted it black. Shows off our rock sliders a whole lot better. All right, so prior to uh, hanging your slider, it's a good thing, good thing to uh, test fit your U-bolts. So this will slip around the back side of the frame and come through the slider like that. You're just test fitting to make sure that each one fits into the frame, foot there in each circle. If it doesn't, it's just a matter of bending it out a little bit to fit in. But these fit just perfect. So what we did on the back side of the frame on the driver's side with your brake lines here they come up the front side and come up and over the frame now we're on the inside of the vehicle you've got these two brake line brackets so what we just use is our tool and we pop them out again from the frame mounts in here that way we can slide these u-bolts up behind them on the frame and get a nice tight flush mount without crushing these lines here and uh, you can just go ahead and pop them back in after your gun tightening down your slider there and there We're gonna pre-hang them up here and then you can slide them back and forth on the frame itself. Just pre-hang them. That way you don't have to fight them when you get them back up there. We're gonna do that both sides. So we're gonna pop this wire loom loose in the frame. Our slider foot has to come in and fit underneath of it. So we're just gonna get our tool and I've already done this ahead of time. It's just a uh, pop tool. Pop these plastic rivets out and just loosen up your frame. Now you've also got some brake lines here that your slider will clear these up here so we don't have to mess with any of that right there. So Bronco comes with a frame mount for the slider and we're going straight to the frame with the with the uh, provided uh, holes from Ford. So it's been designed that slips right up after you've already loosened this wire loom slips right up behind so putting our bolts facing up protect the nut going up through our frame mount into the bronco frame washer bolt lock washer on top all right. Good. And making sure everything's clear, which it is. All right, now we're ready to hang up the slider. All right, so now we're gonna hang the slider, making sure that we get up under the feet, up underneath between the frame and this wire loom. And Noah's getting one of the 3 8 bolts started on the feet up front to hold it for us. We have enough adjustability built into the slider to where we can get it level and gap correctly. And then once we get where we want, I'm going to tighten down that uh, front nut first and I'm going to come to the rear. I'm going to tighten down this rear U-bolt first. Then I'm going to double check. Do I like where my gap is? Is it sitting level for me? And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to tighten everything down. So after you get your adjustments and you like where your uh, slider's riding level and even gap all the way around the frame, you want to make sure after you, before you do your uh, final tightening down that your U-bolt is up against the inside of the frame and the, the foot of the slider is sitting flush with the frame here. You don't want to have one of these longer than the other and have your slider sitting uh, crooked on the frame. So when I'm leveling my slider, what I'm doing is I'm measuring up from the surface of the slider to the bottom of the door right there. In our case, we're at four and a quarter in the rear, four and a quarter in the front. So we're sitting nice, level, and solid. Go ahead and hold that for a second, Noah. Hanging the slider on the right side, our front mounting bracket, we're gonna go for these two holes right here. Noah's gonna hold it up. Again, it's gonna go right there. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to put this five inch bolt through the frame to hold it in place for us. And we're going to put the large washer on the inside of the frame with a lock washer and then a nut. All right, so our bottom foot going to our frame, what we're doing is we're going between the skid, pan, skid pan and the frame here. So Noah's pushing the nut up from the bottom and then he's gonna come around on the top side of that. So on the uh, right side of the truck, we don't have any wire looms or fuel lines that are gonna get in our way. So our slider can just go up after we get our front mounting foot mounted or uh, secured to the truck, we're just gonna go up and we've already pre-hung our U-bolt. So now we're just gonna go up, hang the slider on the front first to hold it. You can just go ahead and get it snug down and we'll give it the eyeball test and measure it. All right, so what we're doing now is we got the slider hung. What we're doing is we're adjusting it. So we're going top and bottom on the front, just putting it down and then we're gonna remeasure, see if we like our gap. We do, now we're gonna to go to the rear. We're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna go from the front of the vehicle to the rear. We're not gonna to torque it down. We're just gonna snug it down. And then as soon as we're happy with our gap and we're level, then we're gonna come back through and tighten everything back down. Make sure you're going evenly top and bottom. That way that bolt is sinking through the frame evenly on the foot. Okay, so we got both sides of the sliders on. What we've done is we've gone through and we've measured, make sure everything's level and even. Noah's gonna go through and torque everything down, double check everything, and we're ready to go. Ready to get this thing out on the trail.